Hi, everyone. I wanted to take a moment and share yet another animal communication lesson that was since pointed out to me by my partner in crime, Lucas. Full name Lucas Kincaid of the Chugach, but we don't have to go into that right now. His dog bed, one of many, actually, there's one right underneath my desk here. And earlier today, he moved, as he typically does throughout the day, he moved and cried out in pain. And I was not, I'm sitting here and he cries out in pain. And my immediate response to him is, oh my gosh, what did I do? What did I do? That type of response. And I heard him say, oh mom, I just caught my dew claw in the threading or the stitching that's around my dog bed. It's not you. He's like, but you know, you always do that, right? You always think that you did something wrong and you rarely do. I mean, he's my dog, so he thinks I'm lovely. <laughs> but of course, I go into many situations thinking, oh my gosh, what did I do wrong? I remember when I still was working in advertising, any time a superior, sometimes even a colleague would call me into their office, I would walk in saying, oh gosh, what did I do wrong now? And I thought I was doing it as a self-deprecating kind of thing, just to kind of alleviate any tension. But why? Why did I do that? Why do I feel like every single thing that happens is my fault? And it's not about pointing blame. That's not it at all. The point is, why do I go into a situation thinking less of myself and trying to hide even instead of walking into a situation with the intent of I'm here to help or what questions can I answer or what do you need to talk about right now? Uh, that, that I would walk into these situations or even just this thing with Lucas, and, oh my gosh, what did I do? When clearly I knew I had just been sitting here working away on my website. It's a question. So it's also a workaround again, for also not feeling negative beliefs. In this situation, it's still a little bit of not worthy, but not good enough, starts to rear its little head there too. And how can I not, how do I wanna say, how can I walk into a situation, what I've been doing with this workaround is how can I walk into a situation feeling not good enough, not worthy, and go in like this, so that the workaround doing this, so that you can't see that I don't feel like I'm good enough or I don't feel like I'm worthy. Isn't it funny? We put these behaviors out there in an effort to shield ourselves from how we actually feel or to shield the world from seeing how we actually feel when actually we are the divine having a human experience. And I personally am happy to help, to serve, to connect people with their animals, all of the good stuff, even just to hang out with Lucas. So next time something happens and that and that uh, little behavior rears its little head again, it's gonna take a deep breath and say, what questions can I answer? Is there something that you need, but not what did I do? Let me know what you think about this too. Do you exhibit this behavior, this workaround, if you will? Let me know. I would so love to hear from you. See you soon.